In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Cover 3 to absolutely bag the iForm Close in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name's Cody, and I wanna thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if this is your first time visiting my channel, I wanna encourage you and let you know that my channel is all about getting better at Madden 21, and so if you wanna get better at this game, I wanna encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and allows you to know whenever we release a new video, and especially if you wanna be notified of that, go ahead and turn on your notifications. All you gotta to do to do that is hit that little bell icon at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. All right, guys, so as you know, I have a full ebook out on the Nickel 335 uh, and 335 Y defense. If you wanna get that 335 Y defensive guide, it's literally just 15 bucks. It is just for 15 bucks, you're gonna be able to get the best defense in the entire game and exactly how to use it against the, a lot of the top formations. But recently there's a latest patch that is kind of bringing back the zone defensive meta. It's gonna be bringing back the cover three meta in my opinion. And so I wanted to share with you a cover three style defense that you can use if your opponent is in, is running a lot of I form close on you. So the, the play we're gonna be going over is Mike Blitz three from the 335 normal, or I'm sorry, from the 335 wide formation. And as far as run defense goes, literally all you're gonna do is you're just going to press coverage, you're gonna shift your defensive line and you're gonna crash your line out every single play. And then you're gonna basically, um, if they run outside, you're just gonna run right through here. And as you can see, you can blow the run up relatively easily. You just run right through the gaps. Now, if they run to the left, let's say that they run, um, let's say that they run to the left here. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot right through the middle gap. So I'm just gonna shoot right through that little left side gap right there and blow the power row up that way. That's why I like 335 wide so much because it has the flexibility to be able to set the pass and the run. So now let's get into some pass defense. So now that you forced them to pass, what you're gonna do is you're going to basically, um, it's very similar to the strong close defense, but effectively you're gonna shade your coverage down, shade your coverage up. You're gonna put both of your outside linebackers in seam flats, and then you're gonna put your defensive tackle, or your, I'm sorry, your defensive end, you're gonna put him into a three rec hook. And what you're gonna notice is this coverage is absolutely locked down. Really the only player that you have to account for is that tight end and actually late you'll oftentimes uh, get fairly good defense. So one of the favorite, one of the best plays out of I-Form Close this year is the PA tight end leak. So I wanna go over that really quickly here uh, with you guys. So with PA tight end leak, um, it has that nice corner route that you can smart route, you know, and kind of basically it's just a simple flood concept. What you're going to notice here is because we've set our zone drops to 25 and the, the way the cover three works now, that cover three zone is going to come down and he's going to play that, um, he's going to play that corner route really, really, really well. Another popular setup is to utilize the wide receiver out. So let me jump over to that real quick. This little quick out to Devontae Adams. Remember, we set our zone drops on 10. Because those curl flats are on 10, they're oftentimes gonna intercept routes like that. The beauty of having those curl flats on 10 is they're gonna play stuff like that, but they're also gonna play you know quick little flat routes and things like that, uh, especially if they come from the defensive line of scrimmage like they do in this, in this example. So that, that leaves you know the wide post um, play and basically it's just a, a slant flat combination and again like I said your job is to start on the slant here and then pass him off and as you can see when you pass him off you're normally going to be passing him off to your defensive tackle or you're going to be passing him off um, to your slot cornerback so or I apologize to your linebacker so you can go with a vert hook you can also go with a seam or I apologize, a three red hook. You can go with both of those options on this, um, but this this coverage is really, really good. Uh, like I said, you're gonna go here, and then you're gonna go to here, and you know, obviously I'm not able to, to intercept it because I'm using two controllers, but you're gonna be able to really, really hang and, and, and really shut down the I-form close with this simple defense. So thanks for watching this video. Like I said, if you wanna get the full defensive ebook, it's available in the description. Um, full 335 wide defensive scheme. Uh, I didn't talk, let me talk really quick Quickly though about the user rush I didn't talk about that um, so we go over this a lot more in detail in the ebook but basically you're just gonna shift you're gonna do that same shift the only difference is you're not gonna put everybody in coverage you're just gonna crash your line out 
and then you're just gonna put your user kind of on a, a purple zone and at the snap of the ball you can basically run right through the a gap and get an, an instant sack um, if they don't block anybody so that's one of the uh, perks of having this and again in the ebook we go a little bit more into detail but that's just a little bit of what you can do to shut down the i form close in man 21 thanks for watching this video if you guys have any questions at all you can hit me up via text message my cell phone number is 208 218-6900. Thanks a lot and have a great rest of your day, guys.